everyone welcome back to the young adults book club um i'm here with helen um and today we'll be discussing the last chapters of beautiful resistance by john tyson um and we hope you've all been enjoying it we certainly have and um yeah go for it um so one of the things that really stood out to me in the last i think it was the last five chapters we did um was the hospitality must um, resist fear and how what he was saying about the other um, and it just made me feel so convicted about in my life who have I made the other um, and yeah it just it just brought back really um, it doesn't have to be a big thing it can literally be a person that I maybe don't want to I don't know maybe don't want to see on a Sunday morning when I go to church and I have to talk to them um, and so yeah that just really made me really convicted and just actually it's such a beautiful image and how um, yeah, it just was all summed up. Um, it all came back to how hospita hospitable Jesus is. Um, and yeah, just how amazing he is and what he did. And then we often forget that, I think, often like, oh, you know, he sat with tax collectors. Like, what? who are the tax collectors in my life who I don't want to sit with? Mm. Um, yeah, that was just something that really stood out to me. Mm. I love that. And like, what would you say is like one step to like get closer to not... I don't know having that other or like what what do you choose to do in that situation when you realize like oh like I've really put that person as the other like what what do you think that looks like yeah so I mean I had a bit of a situation with it a couple of weeks ago um and I'd realized that I'd made this certain person in my life the other um and yeah it just really struck me when I was reading the chapter I said oh my goodness I yeah I really thought about it I'm like I've made that person the other so I yeah I I met up with them and and it was really lovely. Um, and I just tried to just drop that image that I'd I'd preconceptualized in my head of what they would be like. Um, and it was lovely and it was so nice. And yeah, and it and it definitely made me feel so like appreciative of of yeah, of them and so grateful for them. And I think God really gave me his heart for them. Um, and it was just it was, yeah, it was so lovely. And so I think just trying to recognize. Who in who in your life have you made the other? Um, mm. Whatever that might look like for you, um, and just taking that small step, you know, go out for coffee with them, go for a walk, you know, whatever that might look like, and um, and yeah, just I think just taking little steps towards that can just really change your heart. Mm. I love that, and I love the fact that it's not like um, just getting by with them or like putting up with them that resist this it's hospitality like it's an active thing isn't it mm -hmm. like saying like actively choosing to like pursue that not like being like oh fine like I guess I'll hang out with you but saying like actually do you know what I find this hard but I'm going to lean in um and choose to do it I love that as mm -hmm. well just really profound um one of the other chapters that I really loved was all around privilege um and it was sacrifice must resist privilege um I think privilege is one of those things that we hear it thrown around a lot but I just you gave a really cool kind of example of what privilege is and how we can see it and it was this picture of a group of people playing Monopoly for about an hour and kind of buying up all the property and having a really good time and then after that time inviting other people to then at that point come and play and these people step in they don't have any money and they're meant to go around and make you know a life for themselves and do well and they're just hoping they won't land on you know the person who's bought this and they're gonna have to pay rent or you know they if every time they even pass go they're having to pay and pay and pay and just this idea of actually the safest place for them like isn't there like they're like oh the safest place is actually prison because you don't have to pay and you don't have to do anything but actually this idea that sometimes we are so privileged and what do we do with that what do we choose to do and just what Jesus chose to do with it um, and he gave gives the verse um from Philippians um chapter two verses three to eight and I just felt really struck by this I'm I actually just want to read it out for us um so Philippians two verses three to eight it says do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit rather in humility value others above yourselves not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of others in your relationships with one another have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God as something to be used to his own advantage rather he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death even death on a cross and 
it's so easy to come over that but it's just the most countercultural thing and as leaders kind of we're told you know go after do what's good for you get to the top but actually how does Jesus lead putting the interests of others over the interests of ourselves and actually trusting that Jesus lifts us up it's not that we work really hard that we can you know get to the front of the queue and do the best it's actually how can I give someone else a leg up you know how can I work for someone else's interests and I just thought that was so I don't know profound for me and just it's not necessarily new but it's just like oh this is so important this is the difference between kind of worldly leadership and godly leadership isn't it Jesus comes as a servant as someone to serve and um, not be served and I just love that I just thought it was beautiful wow that's amazing Helen yeah and it's just like you said it's so countercultural. um you know putting up the other people above ourselves um in leadership that's so hard sometimes but that is so good um mm. yeah and and another chapter that i think we both just adored was the last chapter celebration yeah. must resist cynicism um and yeah again it was so challenging um but there was a line that stood out to me um it was sort of talking about what kind of god do we think god is mm. um and yeah he was going back to like of course we are made in the image of god um and so if we think God is a God of cynicism and anger and hatred, then that's going to be manifesting in us. But if we believe that our God is a God of love and joy, then that's going to resonate in us. Um, I just thought it was so profound. I'm like, what kind of God do I think God is? And, and mm. what characteristics do I think, you know, are the strongest in God? Mm. Um, yeah. And that just, again, just made me think like, you know, of how often I can sometimes just be so... <laughs> so cynical mm. so, so just angry about stuff and I'm like what what have I got to be angry about um and then yeah he brought it back to Jesus on the cross and what he did and how much we have to be grateful for and how much we have to celebrate um mm. and yeah it just said yeah God is joy so we must be it too um because that is who he is and we've been made out of the image of him so yeah that just struck me I love that and I love you know it's so easy to be cynical like that is the easier option isn't it to kind of not really hope for anything because then you'll never be disappointed um, and we can self to buy into that lie that actually it's better to live like that but actually when we're called to celebrate yes sometimes we will be disappointed but living in it you know with a vision of hope is so much better um, than living with a picture of cynicism and I loved what he's tell story of you know someone having a party and um, for their spiritual birthday and I just thought that was amazing. Just like this idea of really remembering um, what God has done for us. And um, I was saying to Kenzie earlier that um, in AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, they do this really well. Like they celebrate, you know, if someone's you know, been sober for a month, they celebrate that. If someone's been sober for a year, they celebrate that too and make it a really big thing because actually they know that, that has been such a turning point in their lives. And how much more so is the turning point when we give our lives to Christ? And um, so often we can just think, oh, yeah, that's something I did. Maybe I put my hand up at this point or I remember this. But actually, we kind of forget, don't we? You know, who we were and who we've become and actually what Jesus has done for us. And I think that's really exciting. Um, this idea that we can celebrate that and we should choose to. And actually, that's really distinctive um, from the world. You know, if we're people that celebrate and choose to do that out of goodness because of who God is. It's just really mm -hmm. exciting what might it look like to be leaders um, who value celebration so highly like what might that look like so the teams that we're leading if we really want to celebrate those people um it's just got endless opportunities really doesn't it really does that's so good and yeah like about the celebrating as a leader um what kind of environment you can create when you yeah. when you are so for people and so for people's journeys it's just a beautiful image really yeah. like what's possible when that when that's been brought in so yeah yeah just amazing yeah. Really. <laughs> well, just so many other things we could have spoken about from this book and um, if you haven't read it yet or bought it yet we would totally recommend it we'd say the whole team the whole one life team has read this have been really challenged and inspired and encouraged by it and um, so we hope you guys have enjoyed it too and um, this video is going to go up but there's also another video coming which is really special and um, about this book so do keep your eyes peeled for that um, and we'll be back very soon with a new book so remember to vote um, in the poll on Instagram um, and we will see you guys soon thank you so much for watching and have a great week awesome see you later